The pulse might be slower, but Vancouver's Olympic Village does still have a heartbeat these days. More than 700 downtown waterfront apartments were built to house the 2010 Winter Olympic athletes. When the Olympic flame went out and the 2100 athletes left, the village flatlined. Many of the premium apartments sat empty or unsold. Kyle and Yumi were some of the first to move in. Uh, when we moved here in 2011, it felt like a ghost town. Uh, there was uh, not a, an enormous amount of uh, uh, businesses open in the area. Canada aimed to prove they could hold the games on the cheap. Some $7 billion to Sochi's $51 billion. They still hoped that hosting the Olympics would give them the chance to undertake big infrastructure projects that would leave a positive social and economic legacy. The Olympic Village was always sort of promoted as a potentially a, a jewel of Vancouver's Olympic experience. It would be a new kind of housing, it would be green housing, it would be a new neighborhood in what had been before more of an industrial area. All good intentions, but the sums didn't add up, leaving Vancouver's taxpayers with a legacy of debt. It was a perfect storm. We had a deadline we couldn't skip. We had a, a global economy collapse. Uh, the previous council had been too excited about the big value of the land and sold it for a very high price. And all of those factors came together, incurring significant losses. Those losses are estimated in the hundreds of millions of dollars. Vancouver's real estate is among the world's most expensive, and the city has the largest homeless population in Canada. Original plans for the premium housing development had set aside 40% of the units for low-income housing. But in a bid to make up its losses, the city reduced that to 10%. It's continuing to increase every year. Um, personally, I pay you know, about 70%, 75% of my income in rent. And a lot of people have left. It's a little bit lonely. I miss my friends. But people can't afford it. They just can't afford it. Some apartments are listed for as much as $4 million. But there are some who can afford them, with just 50 units still for sale. Kyle and Yumi say it's finally starting to feel like home.